Hi there, it's Clive here again, and today we are doing a quick how-to. So this is a very uh, simple video, hopefully, to explain to people who may be struggling with getting Wi-Fi around their house, etc. So what we're looking at today is using a Wi-Fi extender, so a Wi-Fi range extender, such as this, the Netgear N300. Uh, very basic, very cheap Wi-Fi extender. So why would you want a Wi-Fi extender and what is a Wi-Fi extender? Good question. If you're new to the channel, by the way, then uh, I do lots of videos like this, all sorts of kind of tech type videos. Hey, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'd be really appreciated. Anyway, Wi-Fi range extenders. So basically, this is a scenario. Uh, I don't live in a, a particularly big house, you know, a three bedroom house. So, however, even though it's, it's a sort of smallish house, on that basis, there are black spots where the Wi-Fi doesn't quite reach. And unfortunately for me, it happens to be in my uh, teenage daughter's room and she is constantly on her iPhone 8, on Netflix, Snapchat, TikTok, and all these things. And she constantly moans to me that the Wi-Fi keeps dropping out. So she has to use her, you know, her data package and use 4G on her data package, which I'm paying for, ended up costing me an absolute fortune. So I said, not to worry, I'll, I'll check out the Wi-Fi in your room. And there is right in the far corner of her room where she tends to sit on her iPhone most of the time. There does seem to be a bit of a drop in the range. And I don't know whether it's a symptom of iPhones, whether the Wi-Fi radios in them are, are not that good, because I don't have a problem with my Android. But she struggles. There may be other competing Wi-Fi signals in there which are stronger than our own home signal in her room and she has issues. So I said, okay, leave it to me. I'll buy a Wi-Fi extender and hopefully the range will boost our Wi-Fi into your room. So that's basically what it does. Obviously a Wi-Fi, the signal will go out in a circle and it will reach certain points, but it only takes things like walls, ceilings. There's a sort of airing cupboard between the, the home hub and where her room is. And in there, there's like a giant iron boiler or whatever. So there's lots of things that can interfere and break with that Wi-Fi signal. And the home hub is in sort of one corner of the house on the ground floor. And then her bedroom right in the far corner is the complete opposite ends of the most it's the furthest distance you can get actually get away from the Wi-Fi in the house. And then obviously there's a ceiling, there's two rooms between them, and then it, it, it's her room. So you can understand why there seems to be a, a bit of a drop. So the idea is this, I can put this Wi-Fi range extender somewhere upstairs. It takes my existing signal in the house and then boosts it and then that throws it further away and hopefully it means she can get a strong signal. So that's the basic principle of it. There are other ways to extend Wi-Fi around your house. Most of my products, I have ethernet because I do a lot of cloud gaming. I do a lot of uh, heavy streaming or in, you know, on the internet. So I hardwire my TV, I've hardwired my Xbox One, and then I use power line plugs for my computer here to get the internet to here. But the rest of the house, all my um, Google Homes, everything uses the Wi-Fi. So without further ado, let's unbox this and I'll take you through the steps of how to set it all up. Okay. So this is the Netgear N300 range Wi-Fi range extender. And as you can see, principle here is that your Wi-Fi may only go a certain distance, but this will boost it to the rest of the house. Uh, and this diagram sort of shows this. You can also connect an ethernet port, which is useful to know. Um, and it will improve the range of your Wi-Fi. And then here you'll see They've got the Ethernet port, which is underneath you want to use one. It uses WPS to connect to your broadband. There is another way you can do it, but let's just unbox. As expected, you get comes with a quick start guide uh, telling you how to use it, etc. And here you'll see so all the instructions, how to use the extender. And if your home hub doesn't have a, a WPS connection, then there are some uh, another method to connect, but that's the best way. Uh, it comes with a warranty, of course. As you'll see, the um, it's quite small, actually. I mean, it's very small, very discreet. Um, as you can see here, 
with the various lights. Uh, the antennas here, you can just um, swizzle around to help the broadcast. You've got the WSP singles, the signal, WPS signal. Here the button's on off. There's the internet connection there and a factory reset button there. Nice, small, petite uh, and very non-obtrusive. Okay, setup's fairly straightforward. You need to plug it into a plug that's close to your home hub. So I've just put an extension lead here so I can show you everything together. And then on the side, you'll see the WPS button, which you need to press. And you should wait a little while before it starts flashing. So you can see it's flashing now. Initially, while I was pressing it, nothing was happening. When it starts flashing, press the WPS button on your home hub if it's got one. And then you just wait a little while until the WPS uh, light indicator on the extender stops flashing. So you see it's still flashing here. Eventually, it will stop flashing, which means that they, get, they are connected. You only have to do this sort of close to the hub to get it connected. There we are now. It's uh, gone solid. So we can unplug that and put it in uh, wherever we want in the house and it's ready to go. So I plug the socket in close to where it needs to be. So sort of an optimal distance between the home hub and the black spot. And you can see here, this is my old one, which so is about three quarters. And then this is the same home hub address, but with EXT and the signal there, the signal there is 100% as opposed to the original signal, which clearly is a little bit weaker here. It's fine on my Android, but obviously this is the issue that it was dropping out on my daughter's phone compared to now she's going to have a much stronger signal here on the extension. So I hope we find that useful. I hope that uh, you could follow that uh, fairly straightforward. There are lots of other versions. It's not just, you know, the, the Netgear. Netgear have, uh, is a sort of a recognized brand. Uh, this is entry level. As I say, the one thing to bear in mind is my BT Home Hub has a sort of smart system and it will broadcast the Wi-Fi in five gigahertz or a 2.5 gigahertz. Now, the difference there is that 2.5 gigahertz can't carry as much data, but the signal can go further. The five gigahertz can carry more data, but the signal can't go as far. And the BT Home Hub sort of decides what the best option is. The thing with the Wi-Fi extender is it only extends in 2.5 gigahertz, which is fine for most uses. If you're just, you know, serving the web, watching videos, watching YouTube videos, uh, Snapchatting, all that kind of stuff, that's absolutely fine. If you're sort of cloud gaming or anything like that, then you may, you may struggle a bit. The other benefit actually of this, if you have a BT Home Hub, is I have some devices that will only connect to 2.5 gigahertz and without going into the BT Home Hub and tweaking some settings, I don't have a choice uh, how it wants to connect with those products. So some products won't connect with the BT Home Hub because it may decide actually we want to connect at five gigahertz. But the advantages of this actually is because it's only in 2.5 gigahertz, therefore uh, you might be able to connect to those products that can only connect to that. So some smart light bulbs, some smart devices and things like that. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. If you do, then please hit that like button. Please subscribe so you know when I'm uploading videos like this. If I have any questions, drop me in the comments and I'll see you around very soon. Thank you.